Oh, you know, the parts behind us. So just park where I was parked all the other shit. So, so that hoe don't look fishy because I don't want my shit to get towed off. Booty gang, come out and play. Keep your hoodies on, man. I got that crack. Straight up. I'm smashing it, right? <laughs> Put that, run that thing, tote that thing, bro. Tote that thing, bro. Let's go. So, anything you gotta say before we start? All right, guys. So we gonna start the day off by getting the chop, by getting faded. You know, I'm ready to start looking good again, man. Now that the quarantine over with, so that well, I ain't gonna say over with. Now that I can move around again, so. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna show y'all how that go, but as for now, man, this is how the head is looking. Yeah, it's looking, looking, looking rough, looking rough. But G Wayne gonna set a day for sure. So, yeah. Y'all gonna see the blessing I'm about to receive. We let the Mighty Mark get a, get a drive with a, 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 new, hey. a new whip. We gonna call this, what we gonna call it? The Black Stallion? We're gonna call it the Black Cat. The Black Cat? Okay, that'll work. That'll, that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. This whole pop. Okay, that's pop. a bit. Wait, let me. That'd be a Damn, pop. Wait. Nigga. I ain't gonna lie, that hook kind of put me on my seat a little bit. <laughs> Dang, this, is, uh, this nigga gonna get hit with the bike and shit. <laughs> <laughs> they got little kids and shit riding around, nigga. For yeah, I give you 50 points, you hit that nigga, fool. Nah, let me tell you, let me tell you. Nah, the brakes on this all good, too. Yeah, nah, that hook good. You enjoying the whip, my guy? Yeah, that's all nice. That hook nice, man. That hook nice. I'm gonna have to cop me one, too. Just, just imagine the Durango, go, right? They could do this shit. That's my shit. You know what I'm but saying? But the Durango, what? That hoe gonna Durango slow. It's gonna slow down a little, a little slower though. My shit gonna, you gonna, you gonna end up past the stop sign in that hoe. Yeah, but this, the Durango is what a V what? V8. Oh yeah. That's why. That's why the hoe was so loud before I got the pipes on it. Oh shit! The place is right here. I'm tripping. Damn. Wait. Hold on. How we? That's it. Cause I went around the block and I thought <laughs> we was already over here. So I'm like, damn. <laughs> Nigga, how? That's what I'm saying. That's it. Cause I looked at my car. And went the fuck? Hold on. I was like, oh shit. That's a whole nother person. I'm just like, how in the fuck? Just, just, just go into one of these low driveways or just go back around the block, like. Because this all kind of low to the ground this or some shit. Oh my god, damn, what the fuck? I had like love. I'm like, okay, nah, so this all, right. Nah, this all definitely, uh, yeah, we definitely came out the wrong way, nigga. I was a little, a little worried about that. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Nah, that's so cool. That's so cool. I, I need to get a little GoPro, nigga, and put that whole, like, on the seat, nigga, had a whole, like, this. If I do get one of these hoes, nigga, I'm gonna have to get the, the little screen so I can see everything. Nah, for real. I mean, this whole cool by itself. So just you like, turn out of this hoe? Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. That's what are you straight, nigga? You ain't got no behind you. Oh, this old big hemi. This old damn near like a fucking uh, hummer truck. All right, hold, relax. Nah, I'm I'm being dead. You talking about the steering wheel? No, like like just like the front, like that hug. Oh yeah, hug clean, like bro. Hemi. This old big body. My nigga, my nigga tried to play my shit. Try to call my shit fat. Nah, hell no, nah, I wasn't, I'm talking about the front, like, that hoe. But this is, this really a nice ass neighborhood, though. Yeah. I guess that's G-Wing's front or something. Oh, you know the parts behind us. See, just park where I, where I was parked all the other shit, so, so that hoe don't look fishy, because I don't want my shit to get towed off. Let me see something. Now you see now, you done fucked up, you know that, don't you? I see what I'm saying. I, no, I, I thought. No, so, you know what I'm saying? You're not fucked up now. You know that, Thomas. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Nigga, they hit the curb in my shit. You said what? Nah, I ain't got one. God damn. No one better ever ask to drop my car again. Fuck no. Get your ass in the back from now on. That nigga just hit the nigga ran over the curb. I was about to say, nigga, about that. I was about, about to say, nigga, I was about to say, lay in front of the car. I was about to say, lay in front of my shit, nigga, so I can run your ass over. Nigga, you the curve now, ho. Ooh, boy, he grabbed this shit like Michael Jordan. <laughs> Man, rewind that, dog. Dog, look at this. Michael Jordan. <laughs> Y'all, he grip bro, shit so tight, bro. <laughs> yes, sir, he got us Rizite. Rizite. 
We on a different time now, man. We on a different wavelength, man. So the prices just went up. Prices just went up a lot, a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm in front of the new wheel. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm in front of the new whip. I just bought this from him. Um, I'm gonna let him drive it right now. Cars, so I'm finna drive the, uh, the challenge. Nah, but that, that's why I told him. I got the GTX in the backyard. Then he said the GTA. Oh, so, yeah, man. Just got the tent. It's looking different now. Yes, sir. Looking real different. Got it from, uh, right there with the blue end. Right there at uh, 440. The new image window tent. Yes, sir. Did me right. Did me real right. I love it. I love it. I don't like the fact that my window. So, uh, today going to be another long day. But, you know, I'm starting to like these long days. Especially when I get some sleep. But, I got to take the Challenger to get checked out by the dealership because the ETC light electronical throttle control light came on randomly I want to say two days ago and then I got a well I ain't got I got a mechanic coming to check the knocking in the engine of the Durango but I'm starting to think that's not knocking I'm starting to think it's like not not knocking I'm starting to think it's not the engine I'm starting to think it's a crankshaft and if it is a crankshaft that's a great thing compared to the engine I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure but yeah so ho hopefully this etc is a cheap fix i'm pretty sure it's not because nothing's a cheap fix oh yeah when i got my car tinted be wary of this oh uh, they just let the tent roll down my back seats and like down my front windows and stuff and like literally it was like white shit everywhere in my car and keep in mind I hadn't had the car that long and even then like it was clean as a whistle you wouldn't even you know what I'm saying I, ha I haven't I haven't dropped anything there's not ha there hasn't been a crumb in this motherfucker y'all stay beautiful y'all stay beautiful get good as well facts so we here at what CH Customs luxury auto wrap Lu oh luxury auto wrap bet so you getting I'm getting a, getting a, a high quality window stickers on this thing you gotta take care of your shit. You can't be out here putting the bullshit on your windows. That shit look good. That shit look good. Now I feel like I need to wash my car. <laughs> That shit look good, man. I like that. Drop your, drop your medias, man. Let them know something. What's up, man? Check us out. Uh, Luxury Auto Reps at uh, Facebook. We also uh, Instagram, Supercar Tiger. Luxury underscore Auto Reps. Instagram. Yes, also. sir. That's the bad links. will be in the description. Come get your wraps. Come get everything. He got it all. All right, guys. I got the Durango checked out, and I got the Challenger checked out. So, the Challenger isn't anything two seats because it didn't show up in a call reader so i'm just gonna watch out for it i might change the part anyway just to get better performance out of it but i got good news and bad news with the durango the durango needs a complete injury build complete injury build but the good news with that is my mechanic said that he can do it but it's gonna cost me three bands wow parts and labor which isn't that bad it's not that bad at all so uh, I want to say by September, so they had to push back the interior. I'm gonna say by September that the Durango's gonna be back up and kicking. Um, the guy that did the window stickers, awesome guy by the way. Go check him out. Go follow him. You know what I'm saying? He ain't gonna hit you for too too much. It's gonna be a great job. Low price. 
Man, I'm talking about, man, I just watched McCartney first, still shit on the shit. Like, come on, bro. But yeah, see, I watched both of them. See him? You see, you see how we doing it? Both of my girls pretty. I don't want to say his name. The guy that, uh, did my stickers, my window stickers, said he can do my doors. And my fender. And it's going to cost less than a paint job. So, we in there, man. So now all I got to do is just get the engine re redone basically it's gonna be basically a brand new car today brand new car so i'm gonna get the re the engine redone and get the fender on and i got a brand new durango basically now i'm gonna do what i was gonna do before lift it and put some forges on it so yeah man we got a lot coming man stay tuned stay tuned stay tuned this might be the end of this video i hope you enjoyed i'm about to go work out big green juice big hot juice pretty hot you know what i'm saying I can't give you the goddamn ingredients because if I gave you the ingredients, you might make some gains. And I don't think y'all ready for them kind of gains. But nah, uh, I need to get back. I need to get back to where I was, bro. Cause like before the break, well, I ain't gonna say the break. So after the coronavirus pandemic, I lost 15 pounds in two months. Mm, whatever time it was when I closed the gyms and opened it back up. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Make those manifestations those positive manifestations man to stay positive through them all you have to believe in yourself like you believe in god trust me man everything will work out you know what i'm saying everything will work out life is too short to not take risks bro everything is a risk you just don't know it but look man keep your hoodies on bro